Up, we'll update you quick shortly here. Ray Perez on 20, Robert Wright on 9. A lot of manifests, however, though, for Esper Dragons. They've had a mastery of the unseen going. A virulent plague is keeping Kalidus at bay. And there's a Jace on seven counters. Mastery of the unseen is something that Raymond is soft to. Oh, wow. Yeah. So Grixis control. Those colors do not deal with enchantments very well. No. Robert is at nine, but it's going to be very difficult for Ray to break through here. Yeah, so post-board, there are negates in Ray's deck. There's ways he could have stopped this earlier, but I don't know anymore. Ray at 13. At this point, you're thinking that Ray has to try to burn out Robert in a way. Right. It's unclear how Ray lost game two, though it's, it's very unlikely that Ray has his Radiant Flames in the deck at this point. Yeah, and that doesn't really solve things either. Right, it just stops him from dying to all these manifests. That's all you really get. So he could try to do something like a Chandra deal damage, maybe maybe get these fumaroles in somehow. It's not impossible, but I don't think he's winning on the board anymore. I think he's going to go for the life total, so we'll see. Right. He anticipates. And there's no reason for Robert to do anything other but leave up mana to make two manifests on any turn. So that can block Chandra tokens, and that can make creatures after Chandra sweep. So even Chandra doesn't look good enough here. Ray being his usual jovial self there. Yeah, two more manifests on the end step here for Robert. The army of colorless blue blobby things coming across the battlefield here toward I miss, Ray. I miss the spiders from Onslaught. Those were morphs, I guess, but even the morphs are fiery They're blobs. spidery morphs? Yeah. The manifest could be like scorpions. Jace minus twos to shrink Kalidus. Down to a 1-4. Here come... I believe it's the seven manifests. I don't know if there's anything that Robert wants to flip up. I don't think so. If there's some dragons hanging out, but I wouldn't even use the mana. I suppose you know you flip you could flip up an Ojatai, but uh, Ray would then be able to kill it and eat five of your mana. And there's the handshake. There's handshake. So Robert Wright, two to one. He defeats pro Ray Perez and moves on to the semifinals where Trevor Petrelli will be waiting. For Ray Perez, a very innov good innovation on the format. Grixis control, not something we've seen. A top eight finish, very impressive. Uh, for Robert, Esper Dragon's quite the throwback. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ray took a loss early in the tournament, was able to end up playing solidly from there and converted that to a top eight berth, although unfortunately he's exiting early. For Robert, playing a deck that I'm assuming was on just nobody's radar, the only Esper Dragons deck to day two, and advancing to the semifinals.